Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers in men. It's also one of the most treatable. So all this month and next, Denver 7 is partnering with the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office and Centura Littleton Adventist Hospital for the Blue Backs the Pink campaign, raising awareness about prostate and breast cancers and funds for those who need treatment. Here's Denver 7's Katie LaSalle. Dr. Shandra Wilson, she joins us now, a urologist who specializes in urologic oncology at Centura Littleton Adventist Hospital. Dr. Wilson, thanks so much for being here. It is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Can you start by telling us more about this type of cancer diagnosis, who's at risk, and who should be getting tested? Yeah, that's a great question, Katie. Um, the patients who are at risk are male patients. The prostate is uh, designed to help people have kids. So uh, after uh, the fertility years, then the main thing it does is can turn to cancer. About one in nine guys can get prostate cancer. So um, although everybody doesn't need treatment, it's good to know uh, if you have it. So people who are at risk, uh, are generally between 55 and 69. Those are the ages that we generally recommend screening. If you have a family history or African-American, then you should probably start a little bit earlier. And I know with the pandemic, some people have been really hesitant to go to a doctor, especially if they're not feeling sick. Why is it so important for people to get screened? You know, I think thinking about football reminds at least me of prostate cancer. And I think that's um, just important, just like breast cancer, that um, a lot of times this is silent. There are no symptoms of it. And if we delay screening, uh, we certainly see this in the medical field. And there's lots of reports that the cancer can be bigger. It can be worse and that sort of thing. This month, in partnership with the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office and Centura Littleton Adventist Hospital, Denver 7 is participating in the Blue Backs the Pink campaign, helping cancer patients who can't afford treatment. What is treatment typically like for a prostate cancer diagnosis? Good question. The good news is about 85% of patients are keeping an eye on the PSA and getting checked like every six months so they can keep their sexual function, they can uh, keep continence, and they, they do really well and the outcomes are good, but we measure them to make sure they're not getting out of, out of control. About 10 to 15% need either surgery, which is usually done on the robot, patients usually go home the next day, or radiation that can be done in as few as five treatments. Do you have any other advice for people watching at home on this topic? Um, no, I, you know, maybe the one thing is just not to be afraid of it. We used to do rectal exams. Now the general idea is just a blood test, a PSA, once a year between 55 and 69. Great. Dr. Wilson, thank you so much for sharing your expertise and being with us today. No problem. Thanks for having me. And once again, Denver 7 is proud to support the Blue Backs the Pink campaign. You can buy blue and pink patches like the ones you see here. Collectible pins, challenge coins, and more at bluebackstepink.com.